Okay, um, I've been having a lot of fun trying to figure out how to do this. Um, and I think I finally got it figured out. I learned some quirky things about the uh, UI here that had me, my mind kind of blown for a while. I think I've got some things figured out. So what we want, or what I wanted, was a form, okay, at the top of my dashboard, which I'll be moving this to that. I, I just kind of created a, it's a, you know, sometimes when I have a problem, instead of working on the page with the problem, we just create a new page and try to, you know, boil it down to its simplest uh, principle. So we have a form here with one field, the weight, and I want to uh, update that weight. So I'm going to say change that to 220, hit return, and I want my changes to be saved uh, for this record. And so there it is. Let's go over to SQL Developer and look at this particular record. This should be the record. No, nope, I'm sorry. It should be... Um, do -do 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 User ID where, 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 where trunk sys date minus one it should be this one. Okay, so 220. You see, I just entered that in and it saved the record. So let me show you what's going on here. And okay, all right. So if you drop, um, we drop the region on here. We make it a form region, and we set the um, we set the uh, source to my user weight history view which is going to return all of the records uh, for uh, the current user ID. It uses vapp user and it translates, uh, the view translates that into the user ID. And I'm going to add to the where clause ID equals 39. Now this is where you would think that what will happen here is this, you know, this form would see that that is one record and it would load that record or if it was a hundred records it would maybe preload the first record if you haven't told it to load a sp another specific record but that's not what happens what this does is this limits this really just limits what data can be modified as far as I can tell so this is kind of like a security mechanism so there should be no way to modify any uh, other records in fact I tried and it didn't work so I think this works and we're going to then select what page items are we submitting and uh, I've gotten down to just the the, the uh, rows that I want to on a show I've got I need to have a primary key so I've marked this as my primary key um, and um, we've added a dynamic action that says when the weight entry uh, the item p6 weight changes what we want to do is um, run submit page okay and submit page will then process our weight entry form, which is a DML process. Um, and we're just using region source, which works. And um, your changes have been saved or an error occurred. Now, one of the things here is I didn't see a form initialization process. So I went in here and I said, oh, I'll create a process. And I'll create this form initialization process. And I started trying to figure it out. And I said, oh, well, you know, this needs to run before header. And when I did that, it, like, disappeared from here. And I couldn't figure that out for the longest time. Uh, and what happens is it just moves to here, to this, uh, to before header pre-rendering. So processes, processing doesn't show all processes. I didn't know that. And... Uh, stumbled around looking for that so we didn't need that because we actually already had an initialization process and that thing was working just fine but when I load the form I didn't get that initial record like how do you get that initial record so what we need to do is add a process that runs right before so you need to make sure if you create this you drag it up uh, above the uh, the initialization and we're running some PL SQL and we're just gonna set the P P6 ID equals 39 and then this form initialization process will initialize the form. So the expectation is you've set the PK to something or the value of the PK, uh, the field to something. And then you call the initialization, which fills in, uh, gets the other fields. Um, so this will obviously, I need to update this so that it actually is a little bit more dynamic. I just hard coded it uh, for the sake of testing this, but you know, we can call a function or write a PL SQL block with a select in it and uh, do that kind of stuff. So that's what we'll do next. But what this is giving me is what I want, which is a single field uh, form entry tied to a single row in the database which is updatable just by modifying it and hitting return and it preloads and so uh, that's working 
and uh, that's it. Took me a, took me longer than I expected to figure this out. I do think there's some things that could uh, be done on the interface side to uh, maybe make this a little easier. Um, you know, either initialize the form or not. If you initialize it, initialize it with some kind of um, uh, you know, some place in here that, that makes a little bit more sense instead of having to execute code, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, anyway, thanks for watching.